hello friends welcome to the channel again um, today we will be learning about how to take a backup and also how to do a verify in quickbooks desktop version so you can see the whole layout of the quickbooks desktop version which is open now uh, that's uh, the enterprise version of uh, quickbooks and we have opened the sample file which is sample rock castle construction which is open right now and this is the home page of all the of the quickbooks file and you can see all the icons uh, uh, shortcut icons are there where you, when you click on that it will directly go back to your uh, transaction page where you can create sales orders and voices you can uh, create purchase orders and so on so how to take a backup let's go and uh, do a verify of the file first because verification verification of the file is must before taking the backup uh, you can take the backup uh, once in a week or you can schedule the backup as well so we are doing the verification of the file first and then uh, uh, why we do the verification uh, of the file because it fixes the small errors if uh, there are any small errors in the file it fixes automatically so the books has got the features and if there's an any there are if there are any duplicate entries it's gonna fix it it's gonna delete the duplicate entries automatically or it will pop to the message yes there are duplicate checks you have created or duplicate names of your customers vendors are there which are actually giving you problems or errors uh, while taking the backup so uh, let's go and click on uh, okay we are going to the file and then utilities and verify data clicking on okay on that part and it's now has started the verification of the uh, data file and it will give us the results uh, in a short while that if there's any problem with the data or not it is checking now you can see it's duplicate ids lists reconciliations payrolls everything so it, it says that quickbooks uh, detected no problem with your data so clicking on ok and let's go and start taking a backup of this company file we are going to the file option backup company and let's click on create local backup restore you have an option restore is something which if you have already uh, if you have already taken a backup you can restore the same backup of the previous state in your big box so this window pops up here which says securely backup and protect your data there are two options one is create online backup and one is uh, create local backup so the first option create online backup is the feature which Intuit has provided to the customers business owners where they can go and take a backup and Intuit will take care of that both the backups in their server right you don't have to manage or you have to do it manually each time when you're closing the QuickBooks, so Intuit has for the feature you need to sign in, you need to create a username password for it, like you need to enter the email address and password for it, and then you can uh, sign in and Intuit will take care of your data or for your computer. You can see that. So it won't own, it says you will only manage backup of company files, or it says you won't own manage backup file or data file data. So it has asked us to sign in. So we are not doing it now. Let's close it once it's come up. You can see there's an icon, green icon at the bottom right hand side which appears. Uh, that's an icon for your online backup. So we just need to wait for that uh, window to coming up. It says into data protect login. You can see. And this uh, screen will prompt us to enter the username and password which we are not doing it we are taking a manual backup you can see so this asks us to enter your Intuit username and password 
when you sign in when you create a new username and password with your email address and password you have to enter it so we are doing it the manual backup here so going to the create uh, backup again so this is the local backup where we have to click on create local backup this will enable us to or help us to create a backup on the computer itself, the computer itself. So, uh, when do you want to save your backup copy? Let's say, uh, save it now. Save it now and schedule future backups, or only schedule future backups. Means if you want to save it now, right? We are doing it now, or you can schedule it for tomorrow, day after tomorrow, or you can specify any date uh, for this data file. To take a backup, it will the QuickBooks will automatically take a backup on that day on that time. So we are doing it on save it now, clicking on next. Uh, it asks us to uh, to give us the location where you want to take a backup. So we have selected E drive of your of the system and uh, creating a new folder by the name of QuickBooks backup and we are saving it now and once the backup is done uh, we will go and see the information what other information it has saved size of the file the date and the time of the data file which we are taking a backup so it's again uh, it has got a feature so before taking the backup it is verifying the data which is recommendable and then now it will take a backup you can see it depends on the size of the file if the size of the file is too big it will take longer time to take to do the verify and the backup so you can see the prompt message which says QuickBooks has saved the backup company file for Rock Castle construction to the E drive. So, and it has also given us the date and time with an extension of QBB that's QuickBooks backup file. So clicking on OK, it will redirect back to the same home page window. And it has given us that option that uh, the data file we have it is only backup. Let's see where it has taken a backup so we are going to the C drive and the bottom we created a folder which says QuickBooks backup and this is the file which we took the backup it it when you take a backup it reduces the size of the file actual size of the file it has compressed the file and it has now given us the date modified like when you have taken the backup and the time and it has also changed the extension of the file which is quickbooks company backup file and this is the size of the file so let's say while working your company file gets damaged or gives you an an, an prompt message that yes it's no longer available or you have lost the file your working file so you can restore the same file from the same folder and you can restore the data again right Till the time you have worked with QuickBooks. So now uh, you can see this is the same again uh, home page where you can see all those small icons which are there the chart of accounts when you double click on it you will see all those transactions here of your savings account. The check mark shows that yes these transactions are reconciled. And uh, that's for all uh, today. Uh, we have learned about uh, today about uh, verify of the file, uh, how we took the backup. Uh, if you want to purchase the QuickBooks Enterprise, I'll add a link to the description, which is uh, QuickBooks.com, where you can uh, buy the QuickBooks Enterprise from there. That's a single user cost, approximately twenty-two hundred dollars. Uh, plus tax depends on the state you live in and uh, also I'll uh, 
there's an offer going on uh, with with our company if you buy it from our company TV affiliates uh, there's an offer for six months you will get a 30% discount for next six months uh, plus one month extra trial version which is free right and uh, you, you have to enter your credentials your office information your company information and then uh, you can avail for the trial service as well right so the, again the description link on uh, the link will be uh, inside the description and uh, please subscribe and watch more videos related to quickbooks and thank you for uh, the patience and uh, you have a wonderful day take care